Five dairy producers and AI company staff talked about dairy cattle breeding in a roundtable discussion a week ago at the California Holstein Convention. While there was a room full of members on hand, everyone thought the discussion would have been of interest to a wider audience of producers, both commercial and purebred with all breeds. Here, we can only cherry pick a few of the thoughts that were put forward. Dairyman Joey Arroso, whose family farms with over 2,500 cows near Tulare, made the point that good cows, well managed, allow a dairyman to thrive in good times and endure the tough times. For him, a good cow is high producing, trouble free, long lasting, and efficient. He predicted more breeding emphasis on health traits and he noted that bankers today are paying attention to the quality of cattle as well as the quality of the care they get. Kevin Jorgensen of the Select Sires genetic team and himself a partner in a Wisconsin dairy credited genomic testing and in particular the Zoetis program for increasing the interest in good genetics by all producers. He said when you show commercial dairymen the dollar returns on cattle with better genetics you have their attention. There was discussion of crossbreeding and the success some have with the F1 cross of Holsteins and Jerseys, as noted by panel member Wayne Glazer, who has a private breeding business. But Ryan Matherin, a committed Holstein man who dairies at Hillmar, said he believes he can find enough variation to breed the right size cow with high solids to stay with his black and whites. Larry Sherm of ABS Global spoke about the female side. He predicts that with coming innovative technologies, the IVF process on selected females will become much more affordable and therefore much more widely used. He foresees a day when a commercial herd can obtain all its replacements from the top 10% of the cattle. The panel was moderated by Hank Van Exel, who has Holsteins and jerseys at Lodi. All these folks did an impressive job. We're reporting a bit more detail in our February 5 edition of Dairy Business Digital Magazine. And that's This Week in Dairy. I'm Joel Hastings with DairyBusiness.com.